Why would God seek to validate men and women who disregard scripture and lead his people into myths? Why would our holy king lend supernatural abilities to those who misrepresent him and exploit his flock? Why would he give authenticating signs and wonders to the very people who are working against him? If the self-proclaimed prophets in Africa truly worked miracles, then it follows that God invested his power in people who preach a gospel of wealth and manipulate the vulnerable. If the so-called miracle workers were truly hearing from God, then it follows that God was happy to validate the ministries of spiritual abusers. This is not our God. He is not a God of confusion and he does not use men who irreverently twist his words and go beyond scripture. He is not the one at work in these deliverance ministry sessions. He's not the one behind the healing crusade spectacles in our towns and cities. The hand of God was on the apostles because they actually preached Christ and not themselves. He will use any man who rightly handles his word and gets himself out of the way to let the text speak for itself. He may not bless them with signs and wonders, but he promises to bless the proclamation of his word. It will accomplish his purpose, always. The Holy Spirit is interested in shining the spotlight on the person and work of Christ, not on the dreams and fresh revelations of self-appointed prophets, apostles, and demon slayers. The men making the loudest claims to the supernatural have the least understanding of God's character. He is not glorified in sham miracles. He's glorified in the gospel, and we can never exhaust the glory of what Jesus has accomplished for us. If you want God to empower your ministry, get out of the spotlight and call sinners to repentant faith in Christ. God has invested his power in the gospel and he will not participate with those who undermine it.